So navigating life at work is really challenging, whether you're in a vertical career and you're trying to climb that corporate ladder or you're building your own business. Um, but one of the things that always comes up is mentorship. Oh, should I get a mentor? Can I be a mentor? What's the deal with mentor? If you are struggling or want to know more about mentorship, this is your video. Welcome to the basics of bossing up. I am Ali Love, where we create the lives we want by utilizing these principles and virtues. So mentorship, that is important. Yes, but it's not the end all be all. Here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to hop on the basics of bossing up um, as we segue out of friendship and going up through that long series and talk about how do we build camaraderie and guidance from people that we respect and admire at work. Um, and the reason why that's important is because in most of our situations, we are trying to navigate a space that's relatively new. So it's not like you go to school and they teach you everything you need to know, not only about the industry that you're in, but how to navigate and how to cl climb that ladder because every manager is different. Every Every company culture is different. So we want to make sure that we're approaching it with the right stuff, the right tools. Um, so with that being said, what is a mentorship? What is a mentor? So a mentor is basically different than a sponsor. It is when you have someone that you meet with periodically that gives you information on how to navigate your career internally, so within the company and externally, whether you're looking to leave the company or change your career. Um, it's different than a sponsor. A sponsor is someone who's going to be in rooms and nine times out of 10, it, it, 10 times out of 10, they're much higher, uh, uh, quite a senior in position. They're going to be in rooms and they're going to advocate for you. So they're basically um, have a covenant with you that they're going to, anytime a project comes up or they're looking, you know, the C-suite or, or people that make decisions are in that room looking to give a project to a certain person, they're going to bring your name up. They're always going to say, hey, Ali could, Ali's going to be great for that. Ali should do this. So they're the person who has this high position, really high position, that's going to always bring your name up, throw your name in a hat things like that. A mentor is going to be someone who helps guide you, gives you information, gives you um, guidance, gives you experience that they've already had in their lives like that's applicable to what you're going through okay so mentorship something that's more of a relationship something that's close knitted that you're building with usually when you have a mentor they end up becoming a lifelong friend a sponsor is someone who's going to advocate you they have less time less interaction but they do check in and they do get to know you so they are obviously throwing your name into at the table into a project that you want to do or that's aligned with what you're trying to do. So the difference, why is it important to you for us to have mentorship? Like I said, just prior, it helps us guide this crazy world of career. It's not easy, no matter how many times you've been in your position or how long you've been in your positions and how many times in terms of how many places you've worked at, it's still really challenging. Here's what I will say about all of that. You know what it is. You know how it can help you. Why do or do we want it at all? Do we want to have mentor at all? Uh, mentoring. And I would say absolutely yes. I think it's really important. And I'm going to put a spin on it that I don't know if all of you are going to agree with, but I can say that it's helped me. Um, I think mentorship is, is extremely important and I want to change the way we're thinking about mentorship. I want us to stop thinking. So when I talked about sponsorship, most times they have a bit more authority and power, um, in a, a place of work, right? So they can always bring your name up. It has more weight, more pull. It doesn't necessarily mean your mentor isn't going to be someone who's in a C-suite or, um, who has pretty, who's pretty senior. It can be someone like that. Most times it's going to be maybe like a manager. So someone who you can get to the next level with or two levels above you, right? One of the things I want us to stay away from is um, that our mentor has to be someone who's senior than you. A mentor is just someone who knows the work environment and knows how to navigate the workspace really well. So your mentor could also be your peer. I know finding, and in the next video, we'll talk about how to find a mentor, but first we wanted to kind of clarify, what is it? How does it work? How is it different than a sponsor? And do I need it? And I would say, yes, you need it. And you don't need it to be your manager. You don't need it to be someone else's manager. You don't even need it to be at your place of work. It could be at sim in similar industries at different places. They may not understand the company culture exactly, but they understand company culture and how it should work. Um, and what I will say is rely on your friends. Your peer-to-peer -peer mentorship actually helps and is so much more beneficial than you know upper management and here's why most times it's hard for women I would say 80% of the time statistically it's harder for women and even more I think um, to find or ask or or, or have the or, or or figure out how to get a mentor in a place of work um, to 
you sometimes we get scared we don't ask all the questions because these people are deciding our bonuses or we'll weigh in or feel like they're in an inner circle that we're not um three it's so many of us and 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 i say us that are maybe in an associates or maybe in a director or or in a senior position or even as an intern it's so many and so few managers that you feel like you're just going to be one of many you don't want to bother them all of these things are 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 inhibitors that will happen and so while those are all factors and they shouldn't drop like you sh they, you shouldn't neglect them but you also shouldn't let them determine if you want to approach someone to be your mentor because if that's the right person that's the right person um but most importantly what i'm trying to highlight is that your mentor or building camaraderie between mentorship asking for advice and how to gu guide the workspace can come from a peer come from someone who's been there a little longer someone with uh similar titles someone in a different environment so make sure we are utilizing our peer-to-peer -peer mentorships um or being mentored to peer-to-peer -peer. you can be a mentor Providing information to someone is important. All right, I'm over my time. I could talk about this all day and I will continue with another video next week. Um, but thank you so much. Basics of Boston Up. Keep tuning in. Mentorship. What do we think?